Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Indica. Last time we came upon an old paint factory. Uh, passing through that we came upon this mill uh, where we had to... We were basically being chased by that dog from the previous episode. Uh, and we managed to kill it and contemplated the meaning of a soul in a dog. Uh, and we jumped on a train. And uh, now we are in another flashback section. That was weird. I don't know if you guys saw that. The father was there, and then he disappeared, and then he came in. Get some sleep. Tomorrow's a big day. Sava Ilyich is coming to make his official proposal. Look, it's such a starry night. The one star is missing. I'm waiting for you on the roof. Oh my god, it's an actual platformer. Oh! Ah! Well, I died. I, I died. I could jump on the ladder. That was, that was lucky. You, where's Sava? I don't know any Sava. Mirko, that's the guy that stole the bike. Ah. Uh, I should have known. One star is missing. So corny. Where's my bike? Listen, something happened. You're not going to believe me. Thief. Scumbag. What is that melody? I wrote it. You're lying again. I'm not. Wrote it that evening when I met you. Bus off. Well, here's our destination. Where are we going? Oh, this is the Spasso Fish Factory. I think nobody's there now. That's good. The line to the city's always open. How do you know all this? Have you worked there? Oh, not a chance. My mum worked there. Didn't you say there was no one here? Oh, fuck. Fuck, I think they're floating. 
I mean, why would nobody be at a place where the train is stopping? That makes no sense. Oh. What are you doing? Oh. Fuck! Ah. Fuck! Ah. She almost hit her head. shy about it. Whenever she had to go to the store or was summoned to my school, she she used some unbearable perfume. It would tickle my fucking nose whenever she hugged me. Where is she now? I, I don't know. I'm gonna go down. I want that. How do I get that? Seriously, how do I get that? Maybe this is where we eventually go. Or, it seems like there's another way down. Can I? No, I can't. Alright, alright, fine. Fine, I concede. No, I don't. I lied. The Ladder of Divine Ascent. This ladder was witnessed by St. Jacob as he lay resting on his ascetic bed. Let us embark with zeal and faith on this heavenly ascension that begins with the shame we feel before God and ends with chastity. Nice, nice. In 10 points right now, or every time you get points, you get an extra 8. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Why would I do this? Fuck yeah. Sh shame. I, I feel such shame. I don't even know how that shame guilt system works. Like, actually, I'm a little curious. Can I go... Can I, like, go... See the previous level? No, I can't. I can't see the next ones either. Who makes shit like this? Do you mean this is where I need to go? I don't even know where he is anymore. No.
Oh, come on. Another level? Are you kidding me? I'm hoping Ilya's already here. Take my wimple off. I had so itchy all the time. Uh, okay. I'm definitely gonna have to cut out some of these parts. Or blur out at least. It's not like anything, anyone will see you. You can take it off. And the Dean walks around all night checking on us. Really? Mardine is more like a warden. She also manages the coin and assigns our bunks. Scar. She probably fell asleep. You peeping Tom. Small from your arm is unbearable. We have to go. Watching the drying scene. What? When words are many, sin is not lacking. So the monastery wasn't your choice? It was. But when your decision has a reason, is it really a choice? When a brook hits a rock, 
Does it choose which way to go? Oh, fuck me. You're, you're not a brook. You, you have your own free will. Free will. Choices. But whenever we make a choice, don't we base it on our previous experience? Don't we estimate all the possible benefits in our head? And if we go against the rational, don't we realize that we're being driven by our emotions, by our passions? Do you understand? As I was saying, our will helps us to control our passions. Resist temptation. That's true. But when you control your emotions, there's always a reason, right? You can explain why you're doing it, build a string of logic. If the soul didn't exist, all that remains would be your logical shit. How the fuck can one live without a soul? Humans haven't learned that yet. Uh, ask him if he knows what a soul even is. Everyone says soul this, soul that, but can anyone clearly explain what it is? Yes, but... Even a soul has its own inclinations. But let's say your soul gravitates towards God, and mine doesn't. Is that my choice then? Or... In theory, let, let's imagine that the choice isn't based on anything. What kind of choice is it then? Pure chance. Right, so you're saying choice is an empty one? Maybe it is. I don't even understand the point of this whole choice thing, this freedom that God has graced us with. Why would God need our so-called freedom if in the end he's only satisfied with strictly defined choices? He could have just made me in a way he would have liked me. Just to pause for a minute, I've always like, I kind of agree with that whole sentiment, not to get all philosophical on you, but it's like, um the um it comes out of the whole philosophy like god's will or free will you know what i mean like they always say like god has a divine plan he has a plan for everyone all that shit fine but then that negates my free will if he's already laid out my life for me i i i'm just following a path you know what I mean? Like, I, I literally have no say in the matter. That said, you know, it could also be the opposite. If I have free will, then does that mean there is no divine plan? That means we're it's just a free-for-all. You, you can't have it both ways, you know what I mean? It's either my will or God's will. And that's what's pissed me off about a lot of different uh, philosophies. Especially when it comes to... To God, what the fuck are we? Are we going underground? Like under the water? I don't get what just happened. Yeah, anyways, this place can't smell good, man. Try and play with one with one hand, one arm. Can't play. No. I do. Once I played at bats. Where? Effing bats. He owns a tavern. You played in front of people. I got a standing ovation. Play something. How can I? Why does he have a cup 
wrapped to his wrist. Like, that I don't get. Fourfold Icon. These icons were never popular, even though they were sold for 10 rubles in the store, compared to 20 for four separate icons. After all, four icons on the wall are four icons on the wall. It's a... Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Captain Obvious. That's actually really terrifying. How the fuck did they catch all these? That is weird, man. My game is the game is freaking out right now. What is this? Elevator. Or down. I guess if you went up. Okay, let's let's see what this is. And he's going up like a sucker on the stairs. Three-Handed Mother of God. Oh, yeah. St. John of Damascus was falsely accused of treachery and had his hand cut off. After he prayed to the Mother of God, his hand grew back, and as a sign of gratitude, John attached a silver hand to an icon. But why the third hand on most icons was viewed as belonging to the Mother of God herself, Indica did not know. I mean, who else is going to belong to? What's the point of this button then?
down. Like seriously? So how am I supposed to get out of here? Why did that bring that one down? Now this what the fuck? Am I going That one just went down. Go down. I don't get what this is supposed to do. Okay, I think I understand. it and then I go. Sit down for a minute. It's a lot of goddamn fish, man. Sorry, I haven't been saying much. I've just been. Here's what I think. Oh, shit. Here we go again. I'm not telling you anything from now on. Oh, come on, I'm joking. Tell me, you were, you were wondering about freedom. Why did God make you free? Here's what I think. If I were the Tsar, I wouldn't want my wife to be a slave. I would find myself a free girl that could love me genuinely. Do you understand? Yes, it's a good example. But now imagine if your Tsar has found himself a girl he loves. Can you? So? 
So he confesses his feelings to her and invites her to his palace. So? And now imagine that the Tsar also says, if you come, I'll drape you in gold. And if you don't, I'll hang you on a hook and burn you slowly. This also requires her to return his feelings. I see where you're going with this. But it's not God who burns people in hell. That would be those damn demons, enemies of mankind. Very well. In this case, the Tsar says, if you come, I'll cover you in gold. And if you don't, Parf and the Butcher will catch you, hang you on a hook, and burn you slowly. I love you endlessly, but can't do anything about it. Think about it. If even the Tsar can't actually do anything about this Butcher because of some unclear circumstances, why can't he just stay silent? So you're saying nobody can love God genuinely? No. No, it's not like Yeah, it's that. pretty much what I gathered. That's what I thought you were saying. Come on, pick up the pace, Ilya. Let's go. We have to check one place before the line. Where? You'll see. I've hidden something down. All right. Why do I feel like we're actually like a couple of inches tall and these are all like cans of like sardines or something, or caviar. Jump? What are you doing? So we want. What are we doing, bro? Oh, here. Going exactly. We have to go over there. Over there. Okay. Makes sense. Do I have to find my own way? Seriously? I do that, I'm just going to take a quick look around. Okay, someone dropped a holy item down here. A blessed item. Nope, does not look like it. Alright. Alright. 
It's not that complicated. to move this one. Can it actually go up that high? Oh. Do I need to go the other way? Am I just being an idiot? I think I'm just being an idiot. Um, no, does not look like I was being an idiot. I'm a little confuzzled. Just a little. Another one. Hold up is, I don't know how to get up to you.
I wish I could run and jump. I literally do not know what to do. Let's see if that works. Yes. Do we really need it? We'll see. I'm so smart. Asleep. Palmander. Palmander with incense. Egyptian, judging by the smell. And Dick, I preferred the one from Greece or Jerusalem sometimes. But mainly the Greek one, yes. The one on the right is ours. All the glitter and sparkles Look. like stars. Wow. How is this? I mean, oh, glimmering lights. It's called a stroboscope effect, like looking through a bike wheel. Yeah, well, uh... <clears throat> well, I mean, it's pretty. Mind you, America. Here just for this. I'll show you. Sit down. Shine. <gasps> <sighs> the 
just fall? Julia's hand. Okay. I'm going to have to stop there again. Um, interesting. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured we'd have to cut off uh, Ilya's arm at some point anyway. I didn't think it would be right then and there. Um, interesting how Indica took control of the situation. She's usually being the one that's being led, and at this point, I mean, I guess, yeah, she had no choice but to take control of the situation. Um, and yeah, I I know she kissed him to basically, you know, not make him think of, of the pain. But I still think that she has feelings for him and she's acting on them now. She's giving in to temptation, or this is a start at the very least. But we'll see. We'll see where it goes. Hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.